Snell, the Games Community Manager for Ballistic Baseball. I'm here today to deliver you a verbal fastball in the form of explaining how to play Ballistic Baseball in one take in under three minutes. I have my stopwatch here and I'm ready, go, go, go. Okay, Ballistic Baseball has three modes of gameplay, online, versus friend, and versus AI. Once you select a mode, you pick a team, and once you have picked your team, you put in all the other settings that the game mode asks for, and then you hit play ball. Starting with batting. The goal of batting is to hit the ball and score runs. To hit the ball, you adjust where you're standing within the batter's box, and wait for the pitch. Remember, you don't have to swing at every pitch. Uh, so if the pitch goes outside of the strike zone and you don't swing, it's a ball. Four balls and the batter gets to walk to first base. If the batter gets hit by a ball, they also get to walk to first base. If the ball goes inside of the strike zone and you don't swing, it's a strike. A ball, a strike is any time that the batter swings at a pitch and misses. Three strikes and your batter is out and a new batter is in. If the batter hits the ball into the foul territory, then it's a foul ball. If the batter hits the ball inside the field, then they make a run for the first base, and now they're called a runner. If the ball is caught without hitting the ground, then the runner is out. If the ball is held by a fielder touching the base before the runner gets there, then the runner is out. If the runner is tagged by the ball or by a glove carrying the ball, then the runner is out. If the runner makes it to the first base with none of those things happening, they are safe. In Ballistic Baseball, we have close call moments that show all of the up close action and those hard to tell calls. Uh, if the runner makes it around all three bases and back home, then they score a run. In Ballistic Baseball, the runners are automated so we can focus on the fun stuff of batting and getting home runs. The team continues to bat until they get three outs once on the board and once it's happened, the team switches. Now, as the pitcher, my goal is to get the batter out. Uh, I select the pitch, I line up where I want it to pitch, and then I hit pitch. Okay, and then the meter starts on my screen and it moves back and forth to determine the speed and the accuracy of my pitch. To get the best pitch, I want the bar to line up as close to the middle as possible. Each pitch will drain my pitch's stamina. Uh, once the stamina runs low, then the window becomes smaller and it's harder to get that perfect pitch. Uh, once your pitcher is out of stamina, you can switch them out for a new pitcher. Once your opponent team gets three outs on the ball, the inning is over and the team switch again. In Ballistic Baseball, the game will go for as many innings as you selected when setting up the game. Once the game is finished, no, once, once all your innings are finished, then the game is finished and the winner takes all the bragging rights and you know now, now know how to play Ballistic Baseball in one take in under three minutes it's on the screen, I can't tell if you can see that. Anyway, it happened. I am now your game's community manager for Ballistic Baseball. If I missed anything or there's something that you'd like me to go into more detail, please leave a... Leave, <laughs> I can slow down now because it's not the time to it. Please leave a comment down below um, if you don't want to miss out on any of these videos or anything coming from us. Remember to follow our social media. Those links will be yet somewhere, possibly in the description. And I will see you on the field. See ya.